Clemson provides so many opportunities that sometimes you don't hear about all of them before you graduate. We want to make sure you know about our top five Clemson life hacks that you need to know. Number five, Snow Family Outdoor Fitness and Wellness Complex. Clemson's campus features many beautiful outdoor locations such as Bowman Field in case you need to get outside for a bit. But even though Bowman is usually a good spot to do homework, every once in a while it gets a little... Let's call it spirited, which is cool, but not really a great place to cram for a bio exam. So the outdoor study spot I'd suggest at Clemson is the Snow Family Outdoor Fitness and Wellness Complex. A lakefront recreation area and the Andy Quattlebaum Outdoor Education Center features an outdoor patio and balcony overlooking Lake Hartwell that's perfect for working on group projects, reading assignments, or finishing up papers. Plus, if you're looking for a more active outdoor space, the Snow Family Complex has plenty of room for open rec. So really the choice to check out the Snow Family Complex is anything but complex, except the complex itself, which is also complex. Number four, student health services. You might not know that spring allergies can get very bad here, but you don't need to worry because Clemson Redfern Health Center holds an allergy immunization clinic right on campus to help you if you've been prescribed allergy treatment. Additionally, the immunization clinic offers multiple injections for students right on campus. If you still need to receive your MMR or Tdap, you can schedule a time to get them at Redfern. Some other shots you can receive from the health center include the current flu and COVID immunizations, Gardasil, and the others listed here. I'd read them all, but I'm honestly not really sure how to pronounce some of them. It's not every day you have to say pneumococcal. Pneumococcal. Oh, okay. I'm still not going to try to attempt that. The other life hack available at Student Health Services is the on-campus pharmacy. You can transfer your prescriptions from back home to Redfern and pick up the medication you need to stay healthy. Over-the-counter medication is also available for students in the pharmacy, so you don't even have to leave campus to pick up some Advil when finding parking on game day inevitably gives you a headache. And speaking of headaches, our next life hack might save you from some in the future. Number three, you pick. Employers today want candidates with prior work experience in their field, which can be a struggle to get while you're a full-time student. But one opportunity available for Clemson students is UPIC, which stands for University Professional Internship and Co-op Program. For 10 years, UPIC has offered students internships to gain work experience within different departments and divisions at Clemson. These internships run on a semester basis, with opportunities every spring, summer, and fall semester. They can be full-time or part-time, and all positions are paid. Plus, these internships are on campus, so you can easily get the experience you need even if you're a tiger who doesn't have a car. Which, come to think of it, I don't think any tigers have cars. They can't even drive. Number two, involvement help. To keep the process of connecting the campus from becoming overwhelming, Clemson Center for Student Leadership and Engagement, or CSLE, offers multiple opportunities to help students find student organizations throughout the semester. During the first week of classes in the spring and fall semesters, you can attend Tiger Prowl, student organizations table to share what makes their club unique to interested students. But if you're not big on crowds or simply miss that event, another option is Tiger Quest, a website where you can search through all the organizations set up at Clemson. You can also view a calendar of events to find out what's happening on Clemson's campus. And if you don't know what to even search for, CSLE also offers an online quiz fittingly called Place Finder. And even though it's a quiz, you don't need to study for it. Place Finder is not the type of quiz you can fail because you stayed up too late coming up with Clemson Life Hacks and then forgot to set your alarm, but you woke up 30 minutes before your alarm would have gone off, so that didn't matter. But what did matter was that you were cooking eggs as you crammed for the quiz last minute and then the eggs caught on fire so you ran and grabbed the fire extinguisher to put it out and then missed the eggs and hit your notes instead. Which isn't something that happened to me. It's just a, it's just a general normal example. Place Finder will ask you how long you've been at Clemson, whether you're a transfer student, and what college you are studying in. Then you can rank what your most important personal values are, what you're looking for most in your extracurriculars, and what you're most concerned about at Clemson. And if you want a little bit more personal guidance, you can set up an appointment with CSLE to go over your results and get some suggestions from a counselor on where to go to find your Clemson family. But if you need counsel on finding where you belong after Clemson, you should check out our number one Clemson life hack. 
Number one, CCPD. The Center for Career and Professional Development not only runs the UPIC program, but they also provide many resources to help any student on campus prepare for their future career. One opportunity is resume critiques. Career counselors give suggestions on how to structure your resume to increase your chances for success during your job search. Some of their tips include what order to put your work experience, what work experience to include, and how to customize your resume for specific job applications. In fact, my coworker Jason got his resume reviewed by CCPD, and you can hear about his experience in this video here. And if you need help with other aspects of your career journey, you can set up appointments with CCPD for cover letters, interview skills, including mock interviews, and even take assessments to find out what career you'd like to go into and get some peace of mind about your major. The last thing you need to know about CCPD is where to find them. They're on the third floor of the Hendrick Student Center, which at first glance just doesn't seem to exist. But if you go up to the second floor, then to this door back here, you'll find the stairwell up to the third floor. Or you could just like take the elevator. That's probably the easiest way. Now Clemson students, alumni, I need your help. Comment your favorite Clemson life hack you discovered while at Clemson so that current and incoming students will learn from your experience. And if you learned something while watching our top five Clemson life hacks, subscribe to this channel for more content for Clemson students. Go Tigers.